the country facing high levels of firearm violence. The past weeks have seen bloody shootings, which resulted in multiple murders and injuries in KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng. Last month alone, just over a thousand illegal firearms and more than 7,700 live ammunition were confiscated countrywide. But some believe this is just a fraction of reality. Independent estimates it, uh, indicates that uh, there are between half a million and four million illegal firearms in the country. The police's war on illegal firearms is not being won. Too much of the police commentariat is focused on the legal uh, guns that South Africans have to protect themselves in this unfortunately lawless uh, situation, uh, instead of focusing on the problem, illegal guns. Uh, the police, on the latest available data, are losing eight times more guns every year than the civilian population, and those guns then join the pool of illegal firearms. Kraus says it's a fallacy to believe that the police will protect citizens. According to the Institute, the levels of firearm violence have largely increased despite the introduction of stringent firearm controls in 2004. If the war on illegal firearms is going to be won, it's going to start by completing the investigation into police, selling guns to gangsters, finding accountability and putting a stop to that. Citizens have also shared their views. She says every day we hear gunshots, we don't know what's happening. If we can do like the UK does, be a lot more harsher with gun laws, mainly letting military and police officials only use guns. It has a really negative effect on society and our mental health because we can never feel too safe wherever we are. But the police say efforts are being intensified to deal with this scourge. Addressing the proliferation of firearms remains a top priority for the South African Police Service. In a period of six months, the SAPS is pleased to report that 46,592 firearms have been permanently removed from circulation through crime prevention operations and the voluntary surrendering of these firearms through the firearms amnesty. Meanwhile, the issue of self-defense remains a contentious matter. Many believe disarming law-abiding citizens will only be punishing them whilst criminals are having a failed day. Mulimaone Motaisa, ABC News, Pretoria.